everyone. So we're literally in the car. This is the only time we could do this Q&A. We tried to do it monthly, so here we are a month later and we literally have to do it in the car. So here we go. First question is, how can we combat body odor when we already eat very clean and still have this issue? Okay, so you want me to take care of this yeah. one? Yeah. Okay, so, um, so one of the things that you could do, you need to realize that probably uh, and most likely um, your pH is uh, quite off. So some of, the, some of the things that actually help a lot with this, you know, there's obviously the obvious detoxification. Uh, obviously there's something going on in your detoxifying organs. So that's a good idea is to clear that out. Uh, but uh, we can tell you that um, stuff like chlorophyll helps immensely for that, for that. Uh, especially even to bring up a better pH in your blood. And um, I like electrolytes very much. And believe it or not, there's uh, some people that have had a lot of success just uh, like using pink salt, putting it in water, and making sure that your water is actually getting, because of the saline effect, basically what happens is that it actually enters your cells a lot more efficiently. And uh, oftentimes that's part of the problem is because when you're drinking water, it's not actually getting um, assimilated very well within you. Cool. So these are tips that you can uh, use. Awesome. Next question. Does magnesium help with knee pain? So I would say to a certain extent, it's not the only thing we'd use. We'd use something more like uh, MSM, um, stuff with shark cartilage, what else? Chondroitin. Chondroitin, uh, glucosamine. Yeah, exactly. Cool. What turmeric supplement do you suggest we take if someone's interested? So we use mainly curcumin from NFH, curcumin sap. We also use something called Inflocom. So not only does it have curcumin, it has bromelain. Uh, what's the other ingredient in there? Cereopeptidase. Uh, Boswellia. Boswellia. There's also uh, cereopeptidase. There's also proteolytic enzymes. These are phenomenal for uh, inf inflammatory reasons. Yeah, it brings down inflammation pretty well. It works actually, even just for me, I had a small little shoulder injury and taking it one night just immediately brought down the pain so that was yeah that well, was nice. even just to say like even for myself with my training my athletes that i work with my construction workers they all swear by this uh, these particular products for these reasons awesome next question to make sure your liver is optimal is it a good idea to every season take liver sap I would say it depends on your lifestyle. If you're the type to abuse your body a lot with, let's say, alcohol, processed foods, then I would say, yeah, it's a good idea to do it a couple times a year. Someone like myself, I'll do it maybe just once a year, once every two years. Any two cents? Yeah, no, exactly. I mean, with the environments that we live in today, it's, it's a no-brainer. I think that everybody should be doing some kind of cleanup. Uh, I mean, you wash your car, right? You, you, you clean your house. Yeah. Uh, I think your your body is more important to clean than anything else, and uh, you know, essentially your health is the most important thing. So, yeah, one hundred percent, I would definitely recommend it. I do it at least twice a year on myself too. And it's safe to take, right? So yeah, no because, I mean, you just ver verify uh, from certain conditions. You may want to check with your doctor again first, I mean, and stuff like that. I mean, some some people who are highly medicated, there's certain things you have to be careful with. But generally speaking, for the majority of people. Clearing out your liver is just something you should be doing. And eating healthy actually is very important too because eating healthy helps a lot with the uh, proper detoxification of your organs as well. Two more questions. But let's not forget a lot of water as well. A lot of water. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, when going on vacation, example to the Dominican Republic, what are your go-to supplements that you bring, especially that the water is not drinkable? So, definitely a like probiotic. Probiotics for sure. You want a good, solid, strong probiotic that is multi-strain. Um, I like to bring uh, hydrochloric acid with me uh, because uh, stomach acid, uh, essentially what it does is it makes sure that uh, nothing gets past that. So if there's any form of pathogen bacteria that you're catching, there's a good chance it will die in your stomach before it ends up anywhere. And it will save you your, your runs and diarrhea and, and stuff like that. Um, you know, some, some, some people who are more prone to this stuff, they could use like antibacterial plants. Uh, like for example, the candida sap uh, that a lot of our clients that go to the south, they saw a massive difference when they, they use this product. For me, I'm always bringing magnesium and melatonin when I travel. Those are the two uh, non-negotiables for me, uh, just because it helps me sleep better, helps me stay calm, especially when you're in a hotel, you're not always as comfortable. So that's just something I bring aside from just the pathogenic uh, concern. It's just something that uh, helps me a lot when I travel. 
So lastly, we were asked about a certain brand of supplement probiotics. We're not here to, to bash any brand, so we won't name the company, but we will give our thoughts on, uh, on what it is of supplement brands. You wanna take that one away, Maro? Yeah, so there's a lot of way to, a lot of ways to approach this. The thing is that, you know, as, uh, as um, an ND, um, we, we, we like to use stuff that we know we have science to, to, to back what we're using. Uh, I, I like to sleep at night, so uh, if I tell somebody that something is going to help them out, well, uh, I'd like to know that it actually is. Uh, for myself, if, uh, if I won't use it myself, I will never recommend anybody to use it. My job is not to get online and start selling stuff on a continuous basis. It's, uh, it's to suggest things to people that I know can help them. Okay, so that's how it should be working. So one one tip I could also give you is uh, if it's sold in a major store, there's a good chance you shouldn't be touching it. It's as simple as that. Um, we use stuff that's even used in third party testing, uh, massive uh, clinical research. It, it's gotta make sense. Like don't just fall for anything at all times. Make sure that the person that's suggesting it to you, you trust them. You try. I even tell people, even what I might recommend you, do your, do your research, ask me questions. I want people asking questions and I want people doing some reading. It's very important. Don't just take anything just because a certain person says to take something. It, it's just the, my social media has become crazy for stuff like this, okay? So let's become aware again and let's do things as we should be doing. Always ask questions. Yeah, there has to be a reason why you're taking certain supplements. Don't just take to take because you saw someone else taking it or because someone's trying to sell something. You want to have a reason behind why you're taking it. And for us, the stuff that we use is designed for therapeutic reasons. So if you're coming to see us, you're asking us questions, we'll help you therapeutically with this stuff. So that's Yeah, it. absolutely. Cool. That's it for today. Thanks. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed the car ride. Have a Take great care. one.